In today's video, we are going to be talking about the symptoms of a faulty throttle position sensor, and I'll walk you through the basics of how it works. Now, I just recently replaced the throttle position sensor on my 1999 Toyota 4Runner, which is what this is from. It had 252,000 miles on it, and as far as I can tell, this is in fact the original uh, sensor. Now, the way that I knew that the sensor was going bad was as I was driving along at around 65 to 70 miles per hour, the engine started uh, hesitating or there was like little blips and the RPMs would would dip and then they would jump back up. And at first, I thought that the transmission was slipping and that was not good in the slightest, but then I started doing some more research um, and eventually my engine threw a code and it was the P120 code. I went to O'Reilly's and they were able to pull it for me and turns out that is in fact the error code for a faulty throttle position sensor. So now you might be wondering, how does hesitation indicate that the throttle position sensor is actually faulty? So that is a great question, and you can think of the uh, TPS as the communicator between the mechanical side of the throttle body to the engine's computer system or the, the ECU. So you will have an input from your right foot onto the accelerator pedal. This will then pull open your uh, accelerator uh, plate, I think is what it is called, via a cable mechanically. So it'll open it up and there is a shaft that runs through the throttle body uh, and it, you'll see it if you open it up you can actually see there is a flap or like a little plate in there that opens up allowing for more or less air to go in depending on your foot's position. That then connects to a little shaft that goes into the back side, let's see if you can see it here, the back side of this throttle position sensor. And then that will send electronic signals, I think it's up to about five volts at, at idle, you are at one uh, volt, and then if you are wide open throttle, just dusting some people on the road, it's going to be five volts. And again, that is going to send a signal to your ECU that then tells the engine how much fuel needs to be sprayed into each one of the cylinders. So now, if you're piecing it together, if there is a fault in this sensor, say it's supposed to be sending three volts worth of electricity to the ECU, and for some reason it drops down, it errors, and it only sends 2.5, well there's going to be less fuel and your engine is going to sputter a little bit and so you'll feel that as you're driving down the road. So if this is something that has happened to you and your check engine light has come on, I would thoroughly uh, recommend that you go to an AutoZone or an O'Reilly or Advanced Auto Parts, somewhere where they will pull the code for you, see if it is in fact that throttle position sensor, um, and go ahead and pick you up a new one. They aren't super expensive, um, and it's going to help your engine smooth out again. You could also run a quick test if you don't have a multimeter and don't want to plug it up to um, the throttle position sensor, you can always unplug the wires uh, or the connector that goes into this sensor while the engine is running and see if the idle smooths out. But hopefully this was helpful to you guys and allows you to kind of diagnose whether it's a 4Runner or some other Toyota vehicle or just any other vehicle in general. Helps you to diagnose the issues that you're having and get you back on the road for more adventures. With that, I will catch you in the next one.